Abraham was told by God to leave his country, leave his relative, leave his family. And God said, you know what? I'm going to take you to a place that I'm going to show you. God had seen that where Abraham was could no longer feed what he was carrying. Where Abraham was could no longer allow expression for the next level. There were levels that were in Abraham that could never go anywhere as long as he was still around the same people, as long as he was still being influenced by certain family traits, as long as he was still in an environment that did not encourage what he was carrying. But God stepped in and separated Abraham from the things in his environment that were choking him, the things in his networks that were choking him, and the things in his bloodline that were preventing him from stepping into the things that he was capable of and that he desired. When God changed his environment, changed his network, and changed what was flowing in his bloodline, Abraham began to move forward. Abraham began to conquer new territory. Abraham began to expand. He began to experience unprecedented favor. God allowed people to come into his life who made him extremely wealthy. God allowed people to come into his life who empowered him to go to war and take down kings. God brought into his life people who could release a blessing that would last millennia. And so I declare for you in Jesus' name, let the environment around you that has not accommodated what you are carrying, let it shift now in the name of Jesus Christ. Let the network that you have that has not accommodated the growth that you need, let it be transformed in the name of Jesus Christ. Let what is in your bloodline that has been hindering you, that has been crushing you, that has been taking you backwards, let its power over your life be broken now in Jesus name. I declare a new environment over you. I declare an injection of new people into your network and I declare the unleashing of the generational blessings that you are carrying. May your gifts make room for you in Jesus mighty name. Amen.